Hello survivors and welcome to We Who Survive. My name is James and this is episode 7 of our hunter run here. So it's the morning of day 32. I got a copper pour done and some other things overnight that's actually at home cooling. Uh, the plan for today is I need to collect more rawhide so I can actually get leather started uh, before our other rawhides expire. So today is going to be a hunting day and uh, I guess we get some beautiful views for it. So let's dive in. All right, your boy goofed up. I accidentally paused the recording because the UI button is F4, which is next to F3, which is my pause recording button. So I have now fixed this situation by moving the F4 and F5 view keys to my mouse. Thank you. All right, well, now that I know I'm re-recording, let's try and kill these drifters. So at least I have it on recording. That was so dumb of me, dude. I've been doing YouTube long enough now. I know better. Alright, come on. These guys can drop temporal gears and most importantly, flax, which I really need to start getting some flax, so I'll take either of those. Dude, there's a lot. It still sounds like there's three or four out there. No, don't come back here, dummy. That's right. Holy crap! Oh my god, boys. Okay. Alright, um... Maybe that's where I'm gonna call that little adventure. I think there's one in the other room, too. Oh, my God. Hey, some flax. All right. So far, this has been semi-worth it. Got a couple of health patches I found from a cracked vessel, and I think I know how to make them now, thanks to a commenter. So I'll have to look into that. But that's going to really help against these stupid drifters. So this is where I use my bandages for the first time. These ones I found heal 4 HP each because they're linen bandages, which are a little more premium to make. But Mendeley, I believe is the name, told me about horsetail poultices, which are just cattails and horsetails. So uh, we do get those made at some point, but shout out to Mendeley for telling me. Food stash is coming along, boys. I've got one full basket, and I'm now working on the second. So when things are lean come winter time, we should be all right, hopefully, as long as I keep adding to this stack. If I can pull the crock off, like, right away, seal it right away, and get it in the cellar right away, they have a two-year expiration on them. So uh, might be good for a couple winters if I can do it right. So, since I can't quite get started on leather, I'm going to start on some pelts at least, which we'll need for lamellar armor. And the whole idea here, I was going to do large for the leather, but it seems it'll be easier to get more medium hides because I'm surrounded by wolves and boars, which pretty much always drop medium. Uh, the only consistent thing I can easily get large hides from is the deer, and the deer are just not only skittish but they're harder to find and they don't seem to spawn quite as abundantly so uh yeah i laid down my first hide now these have to age for it's like a day or two or three you just oil them up with some fat in your inventory and they are good to go once you get them laid uh, i do have to go on another hunt though so that we can get some more medium pelts to actually start the leather making process and just as well i need to get more lamellar molds because i was looking it up and they say that it's like 19 lamellar for a full set of armor. And I've only got one mold. And it looks like these give you 9 lamellar per mold. Because there's like 9, nine cutouts. So we'll have to see how that goes. But that's what I'm up to today. And going to be a bit of a slow start to my morning. Crap. Okay.
All right, this might be a little crazy, but now we're hunting wolves on purpose. I know they have medium pelts, and I need some of that. I don't need much of it. Okay, that could have went a lot worse, and I got two for all the effort, so I may actually have enough hides to start leather working. I will have to check and see. Alright, there it is, boys. We have 13 medium hides. It takes 12 to make a full batch of leather in the barrel system. So we've now got enough for our first thing of leather. I'm not exactly sure how much leather this will provide, but I'll be able to finally make some leather backpacks with it, which they have like twice as much storage room as the baskets do or something. So after this, I wanted to get a bloomery going so I could smelt some quartz and finally fill in my windows with some real glass. Unfortunately, I discovered I need to make fire bricks first, which is really easy. You can just make them in your inventory, but I still have to fire them in a pit kiln and it's going to take a little bit of time before they're ready. So I can't make my windows quite yet. All right, I've got the fire clay bricks going, so those will be ready soon. I think 16 hours or whatever. And then I can make a bloomery, and then I can finally put some day windows on this place. Uh, I think in the meantime, that just sort of reminds me, I want to get some kilns indoors. So somewhere in this room, one of these walls, I'm not sure which wall, but yeah, anyway, I need to get some indoor kilns built. So I gotta do that and tend to my cooking. Okay, that's the last block. I now have three indoor kilns to go with my outdoor kilns, people. Which means I don't have to run outside and die every time I want to do clay things, so that's nice. I don't think I've ever actually died. There's been one time drifters were out there, but still, it's nice to be inside.
All right, after a little bit of wiki reading, I think I got this stupid thing figured out. So I've got raw quartz chunks up top and it looks like it wants two charcoal. So 10 per, or one per 10 glass, and then I have to light it. The bloomery gets things a little hotter and it's uh, it's a different, different utilization. So we can actually do like iron and things in here. Uh, it's a little janky though. There's no GUI and then at the end when you're done with it, you just break it. And then you're not guaranteed to get as many bricks back as you need. So uh, yeah, the bloomery is a little jank, but we're in need of glass and it does give us glass. So I really can't argue. Although it does look like it wanted five charcoal. So that's some pretty heavy consumption, but I got more charcoal on the way because I was just hammering down a bunch of trees. So we'll get that under control. All right, it's still a work in progress clearly, but the forge is underway. Look at it, it's starting to form. I'm not sure what the final form will be, and this is really starting to seem small now that I'm putting it together. Um, there may be a way to extend it out and or add a second floor if needed. I will have to see about that. Alright boys, I've been back and forth a little bit. I was getting more wood for the charcoal pit, and I realized if you look here, it seems my first batch of my first barrel is done. So I'm going to take that out and put it into barrel two. Why won't it seal? Oh, I, you have to scrape it with a knife first. I forgot. I've, this is why the wiki is amazing. I mean, you can also get there with H, your help, but uh, yeah, I sort of live and die by the wiki. Not by its information, but by its existence, because the information is wrong sometimes. It's outdated, but so it goes all right barrel two sealed up All right, boys, I had to go run and grab the tongs because it's hot, but we got glass. We finally have glass. So these windows are gonna get finished and then these should officially be rooms, which for the sake of winter means very good things because you're not gonna get insulation if your room isn't a room and your room needs to be sealed to be a room. So let's seal these rooms with some windows. Actually, before we get started, there's a command you can use to check yeah, see, our room is not a room, it's red. So the rooms will be green when they're sealed and they're officially rooms, but that won't be until we have the windows up. Well, I definitely don't think it's done. I've got finishing touches to add for sure, but it looks a lot better now already, huh? It sort of looks like a strange modern home design of some sort actually, but I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Maybe not finished, we'll see about that, but this is a good start. And now these rooms should be rooms. No, I don't make rooms count, dude. This is not fair. I gotta be missing something dumb and obvious because now they're sealed and they're definitely within the room size, 14 by 14 by 14. Maybe I need solid doors indoors, like the interior doors too, to separate the rooms, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if it was the solid doors that did it or what, but we have green rooms, boys. Although I have found it works better if you uh, refresh the command each time you enter a new room. So I guess it's sort of the command is janky. I might not have even needed the solid doors, but whatever. They're easy to make and I'll put some windows at some point so I can see through the rooms. I think that's the plan. Yep, I think we're all good, boys. I'm seeing greens everywhere, so we should be winterized. We should have an insulated home. We're still gonna be cold in here. 
Oh, here's where that screwed up. Okay, this is the door. I didn't even realize that. All right, so then this will count as a room and everything will be good. But yeah, the main thing is for winter, you need your rooms to be insulated. And uh, they only count as insulated if they're sealed. You're still gonna be cold inside your home, but less cold if it's insulated. All right, people, the pelts are ready. I grabbed them off the floor. So now we're gonna try and make some of this lamellar to make the actual armor. So I'm not 100% sure, but it looks to me like we're gonna get nine of them per mold. And it said you need like 19 for a full set of armor. So I made a couple extra molds. So theoretically we get 27 and then we can just make all our armor in one go, which I think is sort of the goal here. We're gonna make a uh, copper armor. Alrighty, so once these dry, we are dry, wow, once these are finished cooling, we should be able to make a full set of armor, I think, so that'll go nice, that's like the three slots on the left you see, you have clothes and then you have armor, so hopefully we have armor coming up, but that stuff has to cool, which takes a little while. So I have a lot of waiting, I'm waiting on some leather, I'm waiting on some cooling, I'm waiting on a pit kiln, that's alright though, because that means everything is in motion. Alright boys, this is peak vintage story right here. A nice calm night. I can actually check on my farm. And it looks like our turnips are probably ready to be honest. Guess they're quicker than the carrots. I'd have thought the carrots would have been the first thing done. Oh, okay. Alright. Dang. So not bad. Alright. I was hoping we could just get one more harvest. And I mean, it looks like at least on some of these, that's gonna be no problem. So that's just that much more vegetables stored away for the winter, or I can make proper vegetable soup out of them ahead of time. But I think right now I'm staying with the meat stews. So either way, we got stuff. Yes, we do. And I'm a farmer, how about you? All right, I went big with my last two copper ingots I had poured, boys. I'm making a double set of nails, which is good for eight sets of nails, I think. So we're gonna, after this, I'll be able to make wooden chests, which is sort of one of the things I need to start working on. I need to start getting all these baskets placed with chests. Nice, we got nails. Oh, and the lamellae is done. Oh no, wait a minute. Bruh. That's not 27, that's three. Oh my god, boys. I think each mold is only one, even though it's like nine little plates. Oh my god, bro. Oh, well, hell no, man. we can at least make chests for sure. So let's do that.
Behold, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, look at all that space. That one double trunk is like all of our baskets we already have combined for space. Oh, this is great. And then I guess I'll start replacing the baskets out there. I think we... yeah, so we can make a helmet with three. I guess all I'm gonna have is a helmet. I won't have any other armor for now. But that's gonna be a lot of copper to make full armor. It's sort of insane. But then you only need copper plates, I think, to upkeep it after. So it's still probably worth investing in and making, honestly, because it's gonna be about the easiest armor to repair later. So it's still not bad. Yeah, check us out, boy. Our new little helmet. Aren't we a cutie? All right, the world is that much less scary. All right, I'm gonna give you guys one final look at the house. Here's how it's looking currently on the outside. This is probably not the final form, but as of this recording and as of me about to go to bed, this is what the house looks like. I think the property's coming along nicely, gentlemen. What do you think? Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.